Hey guys, so Awesome Test here, we have the best clamshell phones between the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip and the Motor Razor 2020. So let's go right to it. Now these are my two favorite designs for any phones. Now that said, both these phones have a lot of differences, which are very important given the higher price points. So now for the first test, boot up. We have a Vantage here for the Z Flip. But not a huge difference for it. Alright guys, now for the specs. Now on the front, the Moto has a larger screen. But when you unfold them, then the Samsung is larger. Now when unfolded, the Samsung has a high resolution selfie. But when folded, then the Razer is a high resolution selfie. And with the Razer you can also do video, rather than just photo. On the back, both phones have dual camera setups. And the second camera is wide angle versus tell photo. The Samsung has more storage, but neither supports micro SD. The Samsung also has a larger battery. And the Samsung also has a better chipset and more RAM. The Moto is flash resistant. Now at the bottom, both phones are Type-C. But no headphone jacks. The Samsung also has wireless charging. And on the back we have glass versus plastic. Both are pretty expensive, but the Moto is more expensive. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, I'm just going to put some tape on the back of the Samsung, since there's a ghost in the room here. Now, first up, we have Reddit, Galaxy, eBay, Samsung, Spotify, again the Samsung. YouTube. Now, even though the Samsung has a better chipset, uh, usually the basic apps have more to do with the UI. The Moto actually did beat the iPhone for a few of the basic apps. Netflix. Flip. Amazon Shopping. Samsung. And my basic app here. Once again, Samsung. So, now for gaming. Now, PUBG is a bit more of a complex game. So, we'll see if that makes a huge difference. Yeah, so definitely a sizable difference here. So now for more simplistic game, and even with this, we have a nice advantage for the Samsung. Plants for Zombies. Surprising, we have a van here for the Moto. Alright, so now for Asphalt.
Samsung. It's actually, let's wait for it to finish loading up. Alright, and now for the big one, Fortnite. Once again, easy one here for the Samsung. Now for Geek Bench. And run some view. Time now for Chrome. Now keep in mind guys, for Chrome it's not going to... Uh, the chipset's not going to matter as much for Chrome. But yeah, it's going to quit the web history here. So, first up. IGN.com Samsung INDB.com Open The Samsung Trying to bring us to Indeed.com Samsung.com Samsung Motorola.com And once again the Samsung. Now keep in mind the Moto actually won a uh, site or two for the comparison versus the iPhone. So this doesn't have that much to do with the chipset. Underwater, no copyright. Time up for the speakers. Now the Samsung has two speakers and the Moto has one. So first you have the Samsung. Moto. Back to Samsung. And my son here. So yeah, easy winning for the Samsung. Now for the fingerprints. So for the Samsung, it's right here, right on the side. Whereas for the Moto, it's right here at the bottom. Okay, so the answer for the Samsung, but I will say that the Moto does work more often, and I also prefer the placement here at the bottom. Time now for battery. Alright guys, so check back in a few. So nearly 4 hours in, let's go and check in.
Yeah, so nice advantage here for the Samsung. And this is really the biggest issue with the Razer. Okay, so not for RAM. Now keep in mind, both these actually have a lot of RAM. So even the uh, Moto has 6 gigabytes. So first up, let's do a more recent app. Let's do Fortnite. Both hold it, but a bit quicker for the Samsung. Asphalt 8. Again, both hold it. Temperon 2. Excellent. Photos. That was actually a bit quicker for the Moto. Okay, so let's go a bit further back here. First, let's do uh, PUBG. Yeah, so once again, a bit quicker for the Samsung, but no restarts for them. Now, let's go even further back here. So, let's go to eBay. So, actually, didn't press it on the Samsung, but we did have a refresh there for the Moto. Instagram. Again, a refresh there for the Moto. So this is where those two gigabytes of RAM makes a difference. Going all the way back. And once again, restart here for the Moto. So excellent job here for the Samsung and a decent job, but not a great job for the Moto. All right guys, so now for Geekbench. All right, so once again, an easy winning for the Samsung. Now for camera speed. Okay, so a slight advantage here for the Samsung. Next, you have the front cameras. And the stabilization. Time now for the rear cameras. And stabilization. And now switching to the wide angle on the Samsung. Both of them are 8 times zoom. Alright guys, so in terms of which one you should buy. Now, unless you really need the nostalgia for the Razer, then the results here are pretty clear. Now, if you want more content, then be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And also be sure to check out my comparison between the iPhone and the Razer.